Hi everyone, welcome to Shadow Review 5. We'll be review fine code link version 2. Now this is the logon screen you and I'm loading up my my desktop. And this is my desktop. You know, at the top left hand corner you got uh you know, connections and stuff like that, the health and everything. The window you see me working on is is starting up my batch start file which will start up all the programs I use on a regular basis. The window on the right, before it goes away, is the email client. What you see working right now is the GPS. This is loading up my bounce route, and now I'm working on the chat. Now from top to bottom, left to right. The very top left hand corner, the box there, it's a log bot. That, you type in a website, and you'll be able to wipe all the logs without having to wipe uh, wipe out any of the security. The next one over is my antivirus if I get infected with a virus by another user. The next one down it searches my user IP address and wipes them from the logs of every server without having to break the security. The four boxes you see at the bottom are my shields. They take away a little bit of the damage whenever I would get hit by let's say a user or a server. <coughs> The bottom left hand corner, the little bar you see, is you know you have your file manager, your browser, GPS, that kind of thing, your agent profile, uh, and then you have modules you can add on. Email and mobile are all automatically given to you, and I also add a satnet and diagnostics module. And you see on the right, I got a memory bar. Uh, you can have a plug-in also for that uh, to give you nine extra slots. So this is where you know you have to install all your programs that you need to use, <coughs> and you only have so much room. So in the top right hand corner is your trace tracker and any programs you have loaded up on your CPU. Uh, right now I'm starting all my stuff. Uh, some of this stuff you need to actually click on in order to get it to work. Uh, I try to have it as automated as possible. Now the best thing about this game is that its potential is limitless literally okay and it has room for improvement which is great because then you can you keep coming back because you've got new features it's like kind of like minecraft but for people that like hacking and that kind of thing or anybody that liked uplink uh, right now I'm talking to a friend of mine on chat uh, I mean him you know mean him talk quite a bit he's well if you ever meet him great because he, he's a great guy great to talk to gives you lots of information uh, you know for new new people which I am kinda new still I got level 18 right now which is kinda low but getting up there so we all say hi to him and then I close it out and show you what we're going to be doing next which is doing a mission where I'll be showing you certain tools that you will be using Alright, I got his confirmation that he said okay because I find it rude to just exit out. So, here's my agent profile. You know, you got your username, which I blocked out. My name, which I also blocked out half of it. That's my money. Your loyalty points. Your violations and aborts. You know, so if you violate stuff, you get in trouble. Anyway, going on, you can see where all this stuff is at. You know, bio, your how many points you need to level up and your current level. This is how you get to the menu to get to your missions. You select a mission, you hit accept mission. Uh, it has an annoying dialogue box that comes up that, you know, if you don't complete it in 24 hours, you're screwed. So, uh, but as far as I know, it doesn't count as an abort, so it's best to just leave something for 24 hours. Uh, you can see there it has a timer for 24 hours. You can only see how much time you have left. This will also tell you how you know how many points you're going to get for both of them together so that's also great uh, here's your financial inform uh, information you know how much everything has cost so far how much money you have put into the hardware or software this is the organization panel and the achievements both are incomplete at the moment but they will be complete soon hopefully <coughs> alright and I'm going I already loaded up my bounce route which is why I have it set up that way. I'm going to hack into a server for the mission. 
Alright, this is the uh, the menu, and then you go into the C panel. For the C panel access, once you learn how to use that, uh, only a user can tell you really. Here's the news. Uh, you can see different people that got in trouble, including myself. I got in trouble when I was, you could say, younger. Anyway, I want to go back here. Alright, we're going to go through employee login, use the password cracker, and we're going to hack. Uh, now, this wouldn't be as fast for most of you because I have a faster mm -hmm. gateway. But you click on the ones and the zeros and you get a faster bonus. This one, you have to put in what the code mm -hmm. tells you and you'll get faster and faster each time you do it. That also will be slow for you. Just a fair warning. Alright, this dictates that I have to get the file copier. Copy a specified file and then open it up in my notepad and send them the information so we'll do that real quick alright you can see where my files are at I copy paste and I get money sorry I do it so quickly it's just I am so used to it now that I did it so fast I even forgot I was recording so sorry about that but it's okay alright this is what happens whenever you violate. It's called a violation. It's whenever you have to pay money and you get a violation record on your profile and you have to pay massive amounts of money. Thank you for watching Shadow Reviewify. Will we reviewify your games? Come back again and comment on the comment section. Thank you so much.